Today I am going to be filling up this sketchbook with these watercolors and these pencils. It's the Teeny Weeny Challenge Part 2. And really quick, let me just compare what a normal size sketchbook looks like. So we have our T and our normal. This is my watercolor set versus the little teeny tiny one. I mean, it's pretty dang cute though and a lot cleaner. And here is a normal sized pencil compared to our little tiny pack. I mean, wow, that is, that is tiny. That said, I think we're going to need to zoom in a little bit because these are just so small. No, I think we're going to need to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so maybe that is a little too close, but dang, does that not look cool? Okay, I think this is probably going to be close enough and boy, do I feel cramped with my giant sausage fingers, but let's take a look at our watercolor book. Oh, it's an accordion style. Okay, so, ooh. We could technically make one really long illustration that individually maybe makes sense, but you could also open it up and have like a really big scene, but also really close up characters or maybe some scenes or landscapes in some of these. The possibilities, you guys, are limited to these pages. So this is a really cute sketchbook. I found these art supplies so long ago and I've been excited to test them. Now, something I have noticed with these watercolors is this paintbrush. I, you guys, I don't know if I can, if I can manage. Also, I don't know if I can get it out. Oh my goodness. This is a struggle. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I don't know if I can manage with this. This is just the worst of the worst the sort of brush that comes in any sort of cheap paint kit i mean it's it's pretty bad so i'm gonna cheat a little bit please excuse me i'll just put this little guy over here for show so these are actually the smallest and fine pointed paint brushes i own so i'm probably going to stick with these just because that's a hot mess so as far as the paints go, it looks like we do have some classic cake style. I'm sure the quality is horrible, but I'm still very excited to use these little guys and I can even use the top to mix our paints. So I'm excited to try these. Let's take a look at our pencil here. I'll just undo this. They are so tiny and you know what? This didn't come with a pencil sharpener or anything. So I'm going to have to sharpen these either in a regular pencil sharpener uh, with some struggle or manually with like a knife or something. So here is our tiny little pencil. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's just so tiny and delicate. I can barely get my fat fingers over it. I mean, look at it compared to the big nor. I mean, it's like a normal pencil, but it looks huge next to it. It is so cute and so tiny so wow I'm going to do my watercolor illustrations and instead of using a pen to ink and line our drawings we're going to use these tiny little colored pencils okay so those are our supplies I say we get in here and start sketching some ideas and seeing what we can come up with I didn't realize this was going to be such a long boy I thought maybe it was going to be bound, but this is really interesting that it's an accordion style. So like I said, we could create maybe a really long scene or we could do individual pages. I'm not really sure. I should, I should do some brainstorming really quick. I could make a teeny tiny little storybook or something. Oh gosh. Okay. Let me think about this for a minute. I want to, I want to do this. I want to do it justice. Let's see. Okay, I lied. I'm also going to be using my normal pencil, normal pencil to be sketching our ideas out on our long, long accordion. Wow, how many pages is this? Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten pages. So I think it would be really fun to do illustrations that could be on their own, but also they could be together when you undo it. So I'm going to start sketching. Oh my gosh, it's like a like an inchworm. Look at it. Look at him go. Look, look at him go. Okay. Well, let's get to sketching some ideas down and let's just start off 
by having like a cute little scene. Maybe there's like a hill coming down. And we've got a character here. What's this character up to? This character is just like hanging out. Oh, maybe they're like on a horse. Okay. So we've got a character looking out to the distance. Should I have looked up a reference for someone on a horse? Oh, absolutely. But did I? Absolutely not. That's fine though. Let's see, we've got our character holding the reins of their horse. Maybe they should wear a helmet. Really, really make them look mysterious. What is this scene going to be? I'm kind of getting excited. Should I have also looked up a reference for a helmet? Oh, absolutely. Armor? What does that look like? I have no idea. That's what I like to do. I just like to jump in and make mistakes. Okay, I think they need like a beautiful feather sticking out of their their helmet. It's going to be so beautiful. My knight in shining armor. Love it. Are we even going to see the horse? Let's see. Let's give the horse a big booty so that we can see it. <laughs> I want to see this horse's big booty. It needs a beautifully poofy tail. Okay, great. Lo love it already. Should I have looked up a reference for a horse? Oh, absolutely. Am I going to do it? No, no. It kind of looks like a big dog. I mean, honestly, I could make this person ride a big dog and that would be pretty cool. All right, okay. I think I like our horse. It's looking pretty cute. Um, but I did give it reins. So we'll just put like a thing over here. That's what reins look like, yeah? Great. Oh, I love our little knight and our horsey. It's cute. All right, so we have our first two and a half pages filled. We have a knight entering something. I mean, what could there be? There could be mountains with uh, someone in a tall tower and there's like a dragon and we could go cliche or we could go not cliche. Maybe they're rescuing a baby horse from a dragon or maybe there's like sheep that are being eaten by a dragon and the princess is eating the sheep. I don't know what's happening, but let's start sketching some more ideas and see where our little story goes. This is super exciting. I'm super excited. Did I say exciting enough? Okay, let's continue sketching. So here it is, our fully sketched 10 page long scene of a mystical, magical, adventurous world, I guess is what I'm going to call it. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and start lightening our pencil so that when I put our watercolor on top, we aren't getting too messy of an illustration, though I am going to go into this accepting that it's going to be a little bit messier than my usual stuff. I mean, we are working pretty small and sometimes you just gotta be a little loose and messy. All right, so it's lightened. Let's go ahead and start to working on it. So before anyone mentions anything, yes, I know my fingernails are disgusting. I'm a nervous biter and I eat my fingers for breakfast. <laughs> All right, cool. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about this illustration because you guys, I had so much fun with this teeny tiny illustration. And although technically it ended up being a lot bigger than I anticipated because I did expect to work one page at a time going into this project, but I was so inspired by that accordion bound sketchbook style, which is something that I've never actually had experience with that I couldn't resist taking advantage of that. So as you can see, I wanted to just make this very colorful illustration where I created this gradient of a sky that faded from blue to purple to red, creating this very peaceful scene on the left. And as we worked our way to the right, it got kind of dark. It got kind of mysterious. We have different landscapes, but then it gets kind of calm again. And we have our yellow sunset in the ocean and then working our way again to a red, to a purple, and then a blue ending at a desert. 
I have never worked especially this long before. In any illustration, I typically work in a normal frame size, be it five by seven, eight by 10, basically any normal size for an illustration. And I don't normally go outside of that norm. So working in an aspect that was super small, but also super long was very new for me, but I had so much fun with this. So of course, like I said, I did want to focus on bright colors as we worked our way across this landscape. And although it was quite a struggle to create, they aren't the best quality. Obviously I knew that going into this project, but hey, Sometimes that's just something you have to work around. And honestly, they weren't the worst watercolors I've ever used. They just dried a lot faster. Obviously they are chalky and not the easiest to blend. And I had a few issues where the colors were blending back into each other despite it being 100% dry. So that was a little frustrating. But to accommodate for that, I actually embraced the texture that I had to get from them. They couldn't create a smooth gradient. Well, great, then I would will create a really interesting texture for the sky and I quite enjoyed that. Moving on to our characters and our background coloring, I didn't want to add too much shading or blending because I did want to incorporate those colored pencils. Colored pencils aren't something that I use a whole lot in my illustrations and I'm always telling myself that I want to do more and add a line work and of course texture with them, but I never pushed myself to do that. So when I saw these teeny tiny little pencils and also these teeny tiny little watercolors and obviously this teeny tiny little sketchbook, I knew that this was a chance for me to push myself to do something where I used colored pencils to use as the line work. So in general, it was pretty difficult to work this small, even with the advantage of using a very small paintbrush that I already had myself, thank goodness, because I did go into the sky trying to use the original brush that came with the watercolors, but as you could see, it had like a main chunk of bristles and then at the side there were quite a few wild pieces that were not making it easy to make a very clean brush stroke so as much as I did want to focus on using all of the teeny tiny art supplies, I just, you guys, I couldn't do it. It just, it wasn't small enough and it was just so bad quality. <laughs> if I was going to make any sort of half decent artwork this small, I was going to have to break out my own personal brushes. So I'm glad I did, though I kind of feel like I cheated. So I don't know, it, it's whatever. It was seriously already a struggle enough to create anything this tiny and try to blend things and stay within a small area and create tiny little details. It, it was hard, but I had so much fun with this project. It was just so much more colorful than I usually work. I don't normally include this many different landscapes and this many different characters. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. So when it came to lining this illustration with our teeny tiny color pencils, I was both excited but also terrified. I didn't have a properly teeny tiny pencil sharpener so I really wasn't sure how I was going to sharpen these guys once I used them and it didn't take much to use them to the point where I needed to sharpen them unfortunately. Though fortunately the only pencil that I needed to sharpen multiple times was the black pencil and unfortunately the normal size pencil sharpener did not work so I I did have to use my X-Acto blade to try to sharpen that pencil to some sort of a point to work with. The lead kept breaking and it was just overall very difficult to get a small teeny tiny point that it originally came in. So the line work is a little rough going 
fitting into this illustration, but the fact that I am working so small, I don't know that I can be mad about it. I am just super happy with how the different colored line work worked. I did focus on lining things that were closer to the viewer and leaving things in the distance unlined. So I think overall adding extra details with the pencils really worked for this illustration. And overall, I had so much fun with this teeny weeny little illustration. And I do want to explore more into accordion style sketchbooks and do more illustrations like this. completed teeny weeny illustration gone very much longer than I anticipated. I didn't think I was going to turn this into a very long illustration, but once I found out it was an accordion folded sketchbook, I, I couldn't resist. And all together, once you fold it back, you're, you're stuck with this really colorful and cute book that you can still look at as each spread. It still works as an illustration on their own, and I think that turned out as a really cool and interesting and unique feature to this sketchbook. I, I went to this project just going to do some silly doodles that are very tiny and ended up with this really colorful, fun, fold-out illustration where you can still get fun results for each page or individually or as a whole. I really like this project. I had a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did illustrating it. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay golden. But I couldn't leave without saying thank you so much to my amazing patrons. You guys give me so much support. Do you want coloring pages, early access to my videos, and secret sketches? Check out the link to my patron in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye.